children. I must have passed out. Well, you did take a little nap. Oh, really? <laughs> no, thanks, Willa. You're so weird. I wish I could bomb you. I wish I could blow you up. One day that'll be the title of my memoir, and I'm gonna draw it. Garris, and I had the great honor of being asked to act as judge in this year's uh, Portland Horror Film Festival competition of short films. So it's a great time to be a filmmaker in terms of access to the tools of filmmaking. They've never been more democratic. Anybody with a, a good quality mobile phone, an iPad, uh, a laptop computer, or a tablet, can make really high quality films. Even Steven Soderbergh made Unsane, a theatrical release on his iPhone 7 a few years ago, and it looked great. So you have the ability to do that, and we see many, many uh, representations of good filmmaking uh, in the short film arena. And I'm excited to see that there are films from around the world represented, and uh, so it is my job, my very difficult job, to comb through the films and try to come up with a top uh, top winner. So first we'll do the runners up uh, and congratulations to everybody on doing such good work. It was very difficult to make these choices. But my first runner up, In the Shadow of God, written and directed by Brian Sipasnik. This is a very beautifully polished production, uh, beautifully shot, very moody, very atmospheric. The performances are all top-notch. It's really, really well done and quite grim. But I love how seriously it takes itself and how successfully it does that. On the other hand, our second runner-up, Visitors, a Japanese gore fest. Well, it starts out quietly, but it becomes quite splat-tastic. Uh, written and directed by Kenichi Ugana from Japan. And uh, it really goes nuts, and uh, I really appreciated the, the Evil Dead kind of attitude that it has. Lots and lots of fun. So now the tough choice is the top choice. The Australian film I call it on the written and directed by Michael Anthony Kratachville. And it is imaginative and colorful and the performance by the two young actresses are really, really terrific. It's, it's got a, a really imaginative script that I didn't know what was going to happen uh, in the next moments. Um, and most importantly, there's something that you can't buy and you can't learn in film school, and that's pacing. This has lots of energy. The pace is really propulsive and engaging, and that really is what uh, won me over in the end in addition to all of its other aspects. So congratulations to everybody, and thank you for letting me be a part of this. I'm so weird. 